you look Every here year. around Copenhagen. So now... This is the interesting match. Yes, buckle your seatbelts. We're about to go to the gold medal match. It is the women's gold medal match. And back once again, one more time, Kim Yoo Nee of Korea. Kim Yoo Nee coming through the King's Gate. It's like deja vu. She's been there twice before already. And makes the long walk. It's quite impressive for your archery CV, you know. Three competitions today. And a chance to do what Three nobody, medals. yeah, and nobody's ever done this before from Korea, win a compound world title in, in an individual event. Yep. And that is the opportunity presented right now for Kim Yoo Nee, who got to this match after scoring a five point win over Natalia Avdieva of Russia in the quarterfinals, and then just barely edging out Mario Vinogradova by one in the semifinals. As you take a look at the stats and match play this year, she's nine and four. Only 21 years old. Right, 38th in the world, and she will face an amazing woman, Crystal yeah. Govan of the United States, who took down Toya Cherne of Slovenia in a shoot-off, and then in the semifinals defeated Sarah Lopez by one, 145 tough match. to 144. Really tough match for both girls. And Crystal has not been in this game that long. No, not at all. Her backstory is incredible. We did some homework. If I can find my homework, the dog ate it. <laughs> Braden Gellantine, by the way, coaching her in the box. But Crystal Govan was in the corporate economist. world. She was a senior economist and gave up her career as a senior economist to go full time into archery. Yeah. What a remarkable story. She was also really good at swimming. She well. was a great swimmer. She's been in biking. She's been in crewing. She played water polo. She is just an athlete. She's such an amazing woman. And started out in recurve. Yeah. And she was one of the, you know, one of the top people in the economic world as well. To give that up for this. That tells you something about archery, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> so Crystal Garvin of the United States in the biggest match of her career, picking up the sword and carrying the torch in the absence of Erica Anschutz, who's on maternity leave. And there's the first shot of the match. And Kim Yoo Nee. Puts up a 10 while Crystal Gauvin shooting quickly, answers with a 9. Mm. Nine is fine. Ten's better. Ten is better. Ten will win you the match. Nice. Sometimes. So Crystal shooting quickly. And here's Kim Yoo Nee. I think she's shooting quickly just because of the wind. You know, the faster you can get your shots off, the easier it should be. Amazing shooting by Kim Yoo Nee. And a good, good look at Crystal. There you go. So at a good opening end for Crystal Govan in the United States. Crystal, 31 years old, ranked 18th in on, the world. <laughs> There's no pressure there. You need to shoot all bullseyes. <laughs> you know, and she Good did, advice there. <laughs> she didn't just beat Sarah Lopez and Toya Cherne. She also had to defeat Linda Ochoa and oh Danny Brown. Yeah, of course. My other teammate. Yes. And what a great view. That's Christian Borg Palace from high in the sky. And there is the score for Kim Yoo Nee. Kim Yoo Nee. Her first international competition was last year in Shanghai, where she won bronze and gold team medals, and she leads here now 29-28 after the first end. She is trying to go where no other Korean has gone before, and that's to the top of the podium in compound competition in an individual gold medal match. Crystal Gauvin trying to stay in her own world right now, getting in the groove. Crystal's had to go through every single match as well because she was ranked 20th, so she didn't have a bye. 
So she's had to shoot more matches than uh, I've always wondered all of about the other archers out here. How many times, though, have you seen somebody have a bye and then lose and their lose. first match? Yeah, so it's, yeah. I think if you're in the top eight, it's a lot harder because you come f you're completely fresh into the match. Whereas, you know, if you have at least one bye, it's a little bit easier, so. Wind picking up, getting a little bit chillier as Crystal Gauvin starts off the second end with a nine. Crystal going for her sixth career win. Wind has picked up a little bit. She won't be happy with the shooting, I don't think. It's quite a lot of nines from the girls, so uh, obviously the wind's affected yeah, them. There's a big shot for Crystal right there. That might be a breakthrough shot for her. Yeah. She just needs Kim to get a nine. And we'd be all tied up ten. at 56. Oh, but a 10 keeps her in front by one. Clutch shooting by Kim Yuni. History could be made here today. No matter who wins, <laughs> it would be historic true, yeah. for Crystal Galvin. There's no question about that. It has been a tough week for the red, white, and blue here in Copenhagen. Are you talking about Rio? Um, that's one of the stories, yeah. Yep. One of the big stories of the week. One of the big stories of the week, Rio Wild. Unfortunately. Wow, look at that practice field. Signing a scorecard that was incorrect and paying the price for it. That's, by the way, the, the showgrounds for the uh, horses in the royal stable. Quite the, a far Right, and that is where the uh, practice range is. So they have to walk through that courtyard, through the building. Under the big tower. Exactly. Out onto the palace square. So 57-56, nip and tuck right now. Have fun, that's one of the, uh, it's one of the big things in archery, I think. As long as you can have fun with your shot. Just enjoy, enjoy being there, know that, yeah. Good advice. Yeah. Pays off. You know, you're there for a reason. You're in the finals for a reason. You've done well this week. Just have fun with it now. Nothing matters now. So as soon as Crystal Two comes X's. up with the 10, an X for Kim Yuni. She looks a bit nervous. Don't you find? Good shit. Right on the line. Beautiful shooting from Korean. So that opens up some daylight. Three-point lead now, and Gauvin's got to answer. Came close to that line, just outside. It's a nine. And another ten. Going for the jugular. I think it you know, definitely helps in front of the crowd and stuff if you've been out here before. So this is her third match out here. She'll know the situation, she'll know the wind, she'll know what's going on. Knows what to expect. Exactly. For Feels Crystal. quite relaxed, but Crystal is her first, first shoot out here. Trying to adjust on the fly. As again, we get a great aerial view of Christian Borg Palace. And you can see how it's surrounded by water. We're actually situated on an island here in Copenhagen, in the heart of the city, the capital of Denmark. Very impressive. By the way, I understand the uh, horses that are usually in the royal stable, they're on vacation. Oh, they? They're on holiday right now. <laughs> Just so we can be here. Yeah, so, so they're on holiday. Where did they put them? <laughs> Just gave them some train tickets and sent them off. Sent them off, wherever horses go on vacation, on, on holiday. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course you say vacation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We went to uh, Sweden yesterday, the, oh. some of us from the Great Britain team. So uh, we went over the bridge, the famous bridge that links Denmark to Sweden. 
very impressive. The huddled masses trying to stay a little bit warmer as the uh, breezes have definitely picked up now here in the late afternoon, just after four o'clock in Denmark. And Crystal Gallman trailing by boom, four boom. now. Yeah. And you could hear Brad Galantine go boom. Exciting about yeah. that. Yeah. Boom goes the dynamite. Boom. <laughs> you got an X. So she picks up a point. Yeah. Now is back. Just like the first one. Nice Within three. Three points down. Yes. Nine. Okay. Good shot. <laughs> Close, but not quite, Braden. The <laughs> least he's keeping her happy, yeah. keeping her smiling. That'll put a smile on the face of Kim yoon -hee. Well, maybe once it's over. Yeah. Boom, 10. That was a fast shot. Crystal shooting very fast. So what will the lead be? Another 10. He's still four points down. Kim Yoon is a machine right now. So exciting to watch. I think we should get more excited about this. <laughs> could have a Korean winning the world championships. Could, could be in happening. In compound archery. History unfolding before our very eyes right now. Against USA. USA. Who'd have thunk it? 116 to 112 after the first 12 arrows. Three arrows to go. So it's a four point cushion for the Korean with only three arrows left to shoot. It's a big ask. And she's about to join the ranks of Christina Berger, Albina Loginova. And many, many other great archers who have won this. Albina's won it twice. Yes, won it in Torino, won it in Ulsan. Is she one of the only archers to do that? Yes. Ever? Ever. Very impressive. I'd say so. Yeah. Because, of course, uh, reigning champion for the men's compound, Mikey Schlosser, mm. is in three. Thanks to Stefan Hansen. Indeed. Whom we'll see momentarily, but now... Good start. Next, that block. There we go. Braden Gelantine cheering on Crystal Garvin. Getting excited for those X's. Ready to launch the missile. <laughs> see, of course, if she gets another nine and an eight... Could get Crystal gets three tens. We'd have a one-hour shoot-off. Uh, I need I'm guessing that won't happen. Yeah. Such a solid archer. Who's two arrows away from making history for Korea. Yeah. Sticks another one. In the ten. Nice. What could be the final shot for Crystal? Crystal. And if that is the final shot, she went out strong with the 10. Yeah, of course. It's always nice to finish with the 10. Start with the 10 and finish with the 10. For the gold medal. It's a nine. It's fine. A nine. That's all she needed, and she's yep. got it. A three-point victory. has won the world championships in the women's compound. For the first time ever. History oh, being three. made right here. She is walking away with three medals this week. A gold, a silver, and a bronze. What an amazing day for Kim yoon -hee. The latest in a long line of great, great archers from the country of South Korea. Wow. Up until about two years ago, I guess you'd say, Lucy, they were uh, yeah, basically known just for recurve, but about two years ago. They just ago. decided, hey guys, give us some compound up bows. And uh, I think Hoyt just gave them compound bows and said, try these. They showed up in Shanghai. Started winning stuff. Started winning stuff, yeah. <laughs> and they win by three points here, 144 to 141. So actually a really pretty strong performance by Crystal Gallman. A few shots here or there that she'd like to take back, yeah. but not a bad performance. But little margin and little room for error against the Korean Kim Yoon-hee. Yeah.